guys, my name is McKenna and this is my very first video on YouTube. Welcome to my channel! Um, <clears throat> today is my very first YouTube video. I thought that would be great if I did my everyday makeup routine. I do this look almost every day. If not, I do like a soft, natural glam look. I'll probably do that in um, later videos. But today I'm just going to be doing my everyday makeup. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy and keep watching if you want to know everything. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is put my hair back because I don't like my hair in front of my face when I do my makeup. And I like to pull these little bangs out because I think it looks cute. Next thing I'm going to do is apply the Porefessional from Benefit Cosmetics. It's a primer and it's supposed to make your um, makeup look really matte. I like to make sure I get under my eyes so my concealer stays. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is apply my concealer, and the concealer I use is the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. My shade is light pale. I am super pale. And I'm just gonna apply that under my eyes. And I'm just going to use my middle finger to blend it in. And then I'm going to blend it on my chin. Ew. Excuse me. Alright, so for my powder, um, I'm going to be using the Cheek Parade by Benefit Cosmetics. And it's really cute because it comes with all like their blushes and bronzers. For my powder, I'm going to be using the Hula Light. It's basically a light bronzer, but honestly, it's really a powder. And I'm just going to apply that under my eyes so it will set my concealer. The next thing I'm going to do is my blush. And for my blush today, I'm going to be using the Glossier Cloud Paint in shade Puff. So. For this, I like to apply it on my cheeks and then bring it down like this. That way it gets my whole cheek. And then I like to use a Morphe brush and just pat that. Next thing I'm going to do is my bronzer, and I'm going to go back into the Cheek Parade palette, and I'm going to take the Hula bronzer, and I'm using the, this Morphe brush that's angled. And I like to make sure I get the hairline, and blend it in the hairline, and then bring it back out. That way it's not like just a straight line, like no blending, it's like chiseled and looks good. And then my jawline and then I'm going to do the other side blending it with my hairline and bringing it out and I'm going to blend it in on my hairline on my forehead blending it in and then bringing it back out So after I do my bronzer, I'm going to do my eyebrows and today I'm going to be using the Revlon Brow Fantasy and it like, it has the eyebrow pencil and the brow gel so I don't have to buy like two things separately, like it's all just there. And the shade is light brown by the way. And what I'm going to do is just do like hair like strokes, just like this. is not my best brow. I literally hate this brow. No, I actually hate this brow. If I mess up, I just like to smear it. 
is probably bad, but I'm too lazy to go grab a makeup wipe. done filling in my eyebrows. I'm going to take the gel and I'm going to use the brush to pull the hairs up a little bit. And then I'm going to go straight across and then straight down. That way I have like an angle. And then doing that to the other side. Straight across. foot to sleep because I'm sitting on the ground. This is the only place that I find good lighting. So after I'm done with my eyebrows, I'm going to be curling my lashes with this eyelash curler. After I curl my lashes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Total Temptation um, mascara. And I believe this is supposed to help your eyelashes grow. Oh, I just got this a few days ago. I really haven't seen any results yet. So. And for applying my mascara, I like to do a little shimmy motion from the roots all the way to the tips of the eyelash. <coughs> I had to make sure that I don't apply too much the way my eyelashes don't look like spider legs. So my top three um, mascara tricks are making sure you don't apply too much mascara. Sometimes people can get a little crazy and just keep on going. And that makes your eyelashes literally look like spider legs. So I don't recommend that at all doing that. I'm so sorry, I literally can't talk. Ugh, this is gonna be my first video. I'm gonna like be cringing at it in like two years. My second tip is applying the top of the mascara wand to your outer and inner eyelashes. So if you apply it to your outer ones, it makes the illusion that you have um, winged eyeliner on, even though you don't. It also makes your eyes look a little bigger. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to be using is the Marc Jacobs Mascara in my color. Actually, this is just black. It's Noir. 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 I think it's Noir. Noir. And I'm going to apply that to my bottom lashes. So then the last thing I'm going to use is the Dior Lip Glow. Lip Glow. And this is Lilac. And I'm just going to apply that as my lip balm. And I'm done. Okay. So that is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did and watched all the way through, please leave a like and also subscribe so you get a notification every single time I upload another video. I have been wanting to start a YouTube channel for so long and the fact that I'm actually uploading this video is really a start for me. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.